Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a do-it-yourself library catalog so where you can uh, catalog your own books and you can create a searchable online catalog for it. Uh, let's say you have your own collection and you want to uh, be able to keep up with them on a website or you work for a small library and you can't quite afford uh, a library management system. This is a really good way to get started. Um, I have open here my Google Drive account. Uh, if you don't have a Google Drive account, uh, it's very easy to get one set up. It's drive.google.com. Uh, if you have a Gmail account, uh, by default you actually have a online storage space for documents where you can create and store documents. I'm going to pull up my Gmail account. You'll see up here in the right hand corner under apps there is a link that says Drive and this pulls up my Google Drive. Uh, it works much the same way the Microsoft Office Suite does. You can press create. Uh, you can create an online document, so it's like a Word document, um, a presentation which is similar to PowerPoint and there's a spreadsheet function. Um, let's say you're keeping track of the books that you have in an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, if you've already created an Excel spreadsheet you can actually upload it using this upload button and it uh, converts it into uh, the Google format. I went ahead and I actually created a spreadsheet here. I called it Test Catalog and I just put the titles of a couple of books here just to show you how it works. Uh, you can set it up any way that you want. Um, I put title, author, year, publication, publisher, and library of congress subject headings and then ISBN number. Uh, you can add other fields if you want. It's really unlimited. Maybe you wanted to put a description field where you put in the page number of, of the book, um, the size of the book, and so forth. Uh, but this is uh, the beginnings of a catalog that I created. Uh, the next thing I want to do to be able to make this searchable is I want to add a blank space. Uh, in the, uh, the first row, you want to type in uh, the access point. So this will be obviously title, author, year, publication. Uh, to be able to add a row, I highlight this row, I click on it on the left hand side, and right click and insert one below. All right. And this is where I'm going to put in um, the filters. And I'll explain more about that in a second, how that works. Um, one component of creating this free catalog is the Google Drive. Uh, the second component is creating a Google Sites. Right. And Google Sites is one of the many apps that's available through uh, your Gmail account and any, any other Google accounts. So let's say you have a YouTube account. Uh, by default, you have access to Google Sites. It's a, a really easy to use website builder. So within my Gmail, I'm going to click on this button again and it's going to show me a couple of apps that I have. I'm going to click on more and then even more from Google and it shows you all the free apps that you have with just a regular account. I'm going to scroll down to the home and office section and you'll see the uh, sites. Uh, I'm going to click on sites. Uh, this is a list of websites that I have. It's very easy to create a site. All you do is press the red create button, give your site a title and come up with a unique URL for it and you can get started uh, designing a website. Um, I created a test site here and this is what a default um, website looks like in Google Sites. All right. Um, I'm on the home page here. And when you first sign into it, you'll see a button that says edit the page. All right. I'm going to click on edit page. And this is where I'm going to store the online spreadsheet uh, to be able to have a searchable catalog. Okay, so in Google Drive, I started creating a catalog here, all right, and there is a, a gadget, in other words, it's like a piece of JavaScript that uh, does a certain function within Google Sites, it's called Awesome Table. And I have uh, pulled up here the documentation for Awesome Table. Um, on my blog, I'm going to put a link to uh, this documentation, and what it does, it shows you how to set up a table to make it searchable. Okay, Under part two, under configure the spreadsheet, 
This is where you actually go and you start typing in the types of filters that you want. So you can do a string filter. So if you have text like the title of a book, you want to type in string filter in this area right here. Remember I said you wanted to create a row underneath the uh, title. I'm going to type in here string filter. Okay. I'm also going to do that for the author. All right. And when I set up Awesome Table, uh, what it does, it searches uh, these columns, these two columns, as text. And going back to the documentation, there's also a number range filter. So if you want to uh, set up a, a, a number range, say like for the date of publication, you can do that. There's also a category filter, a date filter, and a comma separated value filter. Okay. So the date filter, that's uh, not for year publications, but for actual dates like January the 1st. Um, the category filter, if you want to use very broad categories, so let's say you wanted to create in your catalog, uh, you wanted to create a section here, fiction or nonfiction, okay, that's where you would use a category filter. So I'll go ahead and type in category filter. And I'll just type in non-fiction, fiction, non-fiction, and non-fiction. All right. I'm going to click on Share uh, and press Done. And the next thing I need to do is to make this public. So I'm going to create, I'm going to click on publish to the web and entire document. And I see it's published. I've got the link to it. I copied the link. Uh, but if it's not published, you press the publish button. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go back to my Google Sites that I've created. And I'm going to click on insert. And more gadgets. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down this list. And you see at the bottom of the scroll down menu, there's one that says Awesome Table. Um, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to enter the URL for my online spreadsheet. Okay, uh, what this gadget does, this actually reads the data and it creates. Uh, like filtered category so I can create searchable fields so I can search by date by author by title and so forth going back to the spreadsheet uh, you see here I'm using the uh, columns A through G so when I set this up in Google Docs or in the yeah in Google Sites I should say I want to make sure the range is set for A through G all right I'm going to allow viewers to download the data if they want to download the spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the display title on gadget. I don't want that. I want to include a scroll bar if necessary. Okay. I'm going to leave everything else uh, under the default. Make sure before you press OK, you want to press the Save button. All right. So that, that way it starts pulling the data from the spreadsheet. So I press Save. Now I press OK. OK. And now I press Save. All right. So uh, it took a while to load, but now I can begin um, searching the catalog online. You see here, I set up a category filter. So I could choose between fiction and nonfiction, and I did make a mistake when I set it up here. Uh, you see, there's one that's capitalized and one that's not capitalized. Be sure that uh, you make you capitalize every word that there isn't like slight differences between the two, because it reads it as two separate categories. All right, uh, the year of publication. Um, it's now a a range filter, so I can slide it. I want to and I can look at things that have been published between 2000 and 2004. 
I can search for the title or author, so I'm going to type in Florida, and it pulls up Richard Florida's book, The Rise of the Creative Class. I can also do a title search, so I type in social, and I see a book where the title is Social Inequality. Uh, I need to tweak this ISBN number. So going back to the documentation, um, I probably want to use um, just a string filter. And what, what that would allow me to do is to be able to search by a specific ISBN number. Uh, so that's just the very basics of how to get started. If you want to share this site with other people, click on the share button. All right, and there are some uh, privacy settings here, and it gives you the link here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it. And now I have a publicly searchable library catalog. So I hope this helps you in getting started. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Thanks for watching.